Yeah, hey guys. I thought it would be about time. I was looking through my footage on a shitty day like today when it's pissing rain and I found footage of my big kingfish. So I thought it's time I finally finally blew the cobwebs off and got this out there. And I better tell the story of it because I'll never be able to tell a story like this again, I don't think. So this day, it was a real calm day after a good blow and it was right at the end of lockdown, right when we can start going diving again. So there was this one reef that I'd only dove one time beforehand and I shot some good snapper there and there was always good signs of good fish there. So I thought I'd head back there on a shore dive again. So I drove up to Henderson Bay, <coughs> went up there and yeah, the country is just extreme up there. There's big gutters, a nice big shallow plateau that comes up and just heaps of fish are always there. They're always drawn to this area. So on this day, it was no exception. Went there and there was kawaii and trevally and snapper everywhere. So um, when I shot the kingfish, I was, I had my gun sitting down in a gut because my intention was to go down and crack open some kinna because I was setting a burly for snapper. So I went down and I was cracking open kinna and I look up and I see these two kingfish coming through. And one of them I'd say was about 15 kilo, like a decent, decent sort of size fish. And then the other fish I, I saw in that group was like nothing I had ever seen before. It was just massive and dark. It had lost most of its green to it when I could see it on the edge of the viz. And I thought, wow, that, that is a huge fish. We get a lot of 15 to 20 kilo fish up here. Um, but when you see something above that, I knew this was on a class of its own. So I came up to the surface again and I thought to myself, I don't have a slip tip. I don't have a drop barb. I don't even have a breakaway. I don't even have a bloody knife for all that matters. So I've got nothing, no equipment to handle such a fish like this. But I thought to myself, there's, there's probably never going to be a chance again where I'm going to see a fish of this caliber. So I thought I'll go down. I'll grab my gun off the bottom and if the fish presents me with a really good shot I'll, I'll have a crack at it because I might never get a chance again. So yeah, dove down, as you can see I drop my rock and as I go down and I pick up my gun I look up and the fish is, I couldn't believe it, the fish is swimming straight towards me and it turns right in front of my face and I thought yep, this, this is the shot I was after. So I push off and have a shot and yep hit it right above the peck fin just back behind it a little bit and just instantly saw that I put a good shot in and it really hurt the fish the fish didn't run off or do a big charge straight away it just stayed there and shook its head really really hard <coughs> and the fight was really on after that Once I had shot the fish, my heart was absolutely pumping out of my chest. I couldn't do a proper breathe up, I couldn't get any bottom time or any diving on top of it. I just thought, how am I gonna land this fish? What have I what have I put my spear through? You know, this fish was absolutely huge. But it just the fight was in nice shallow water, so I tried to keep it up on top of the plateau as much as I could, not putting heaps of pressure on it, but enough that it wouldn't dart off or run away. And yeah, just played it and played it and played it. So 
you can see I, the first time I dropped down on it, I went to grab its tail and I couldn't couldn't get my hand around its tail. Its tail was so big and the girth around the base of its tail, I couldn't get my fingers around it. So I couldn't dive down and just get a quick hold of it and I couldn't couldn't get close to the fish because as soon as I did it would dart away. Um, so we were in a checkmate, a stalemate like this for quite a long time. Um, and we just kept going backwards and forwards. I'd gain a little bit, he'd take a little bit, but he never put me onto my um, float line. He was always fighting me on my shooting line up on the surface. way through the fight I noticed that my flopper had worked its way back through the fish after my shot had already my shot passed through the fish um, but the flopper had worked its way back and you can see it softly tapping against the skin and I thought oh this is I, I got pretty worried eh? I thought it was gonna rip through the skin and the fish was gonna be gone and I was gonna lose it and, you know a fish like that I'll never see again so um, that was the real turning point in the fight actually is when I saw that I eased off on my pressure a little bit and I thought I'd go down and I'll try and push the spear back through the fish.
Um, so I went down and I grabbed the spear and I went with all my might and pushed forward. And as you can see, some blood started pissing out straight away. And I thought, yeah, I've, I've heard him really well here with this. And then after that, the fight just went went slack really the fish didn't move or didn't fight so I thought I'd just sit there and let it bleed that I went down finally got a grip on its tail and after I got that grip on its tail I was not letting go of that well, that fish was gonna have to drown me to get away from me then and I got it to the surface and well the excitement tells itself really I I was elated I couldn't I couldn't control myself a fish like that in my home waters off a shore dive you know is something I've never heard of or never really even seen before so yeah Pretty, pretty special moment for me. So yeah, finally got it into my hands and 
from there the dive was over had plenty of fish in that so grabbed it and didn't let go of it swum it back to shore and my hands didn't put it anywhere close to my float line i couldn't imagine a shark coming up and ripping off the tail or something crazy like that and got it home got it onto some scales and it was 42 kilos it was nearly as big as me and i'm six foot six so it was an absolute massive kingy and i still can't believe to this day how i managed to shoot it on that equipment that i had um, and i'm just always truly humbled by that experience so yeah cheers for listening to my yarn guys and i look forward to bringing you some more content I'm trying to get myself one of those pesky marlin so stay tuned eh